How are we doing, guys? And welcome back to the Munch Bunch. Mukbang! I literally slipped my hands up there and think you could see me. You can't see me. Because of my voice. Hope we're all good. Whoa, shit a brick. Sorry, guys. Oh, language. Oh, no. This ain't going to go well, is it? See, I'm on my own today. <laughs> Uh, now I'm on my own. This could go really bad or really well. So let me explain what's going on, guys. You are watching our video, a video where we have a Monday roast. We recorded two videos last week. Me and my Amo did. Me and the missus. Uh, oh, there's me pouring some gravy on. There's I'm telling you what's on our plate. Or maybe asking me what's on the plate. I don't know. So we recorded two videos last week, guys, and... We thought everything had gone well. It was this video and a pizza and fries video or something like that. And it didn't go particularly well. Because we bought a brand new phone, which had a better camera on than the one we're currently using. And we thought, oh, better phone, better camera, improve the quality of the videos. Problem was, it didn't coincide with our very expensive microphone. It was out of sync. And we didn't know until afterwards. So you got two videos where we were talking... And our lips weren't moving at the same time. It just looked bloody ridiculous. So we put the one video up and apologised. This video we said, let's not do that. Let's just make it a little less silly for everyone. Let's like sort it out if you know what I mean. Let's do a voiceover. So this is the voiceover guys. This is me rambling for the next half an hour. Whether you want to listen, I don't know. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But that's what I'm doing. So, Aim wanted to do this with us, guys, and she was all set to do this with us. And then, yesterday, feck a duck, we, had, um, we did a spicy noodle challenge on a video you'll see on da -da 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 Saturday. This upcoming Saturday, we'll be uploading that. Now, bear in mind, the 2XL, you know, like the Samyang noodles, the spicy hot ones that you can do. So you get the original, which is the, like the black and red packet. Then you got like, the XL or the 2XL, whatever they'll they call it. Two times, basically, which is like more red of a packet, I think, with a bit of black on and a man running to a toilet, something like that. And then you got like, the pink ones, which just because the pink don't mean the girly, they're not soft in flavour. They're very friggin' hot, trust me. And they're like a, a carbonara one. So I was like, oh, let's try them ones then. So we got them and we did that yesterday. And... I'm not going to spoil any surprises or anything like that. And what you'll see on Saturday. Let's just say I ain't doing it again. Let's say that much. And AIM is in no fit state to do it again. Because I think she had some sort of reaction. Where basically after the video she was projectile vomiting everywhere. I ain't even joking. Thank God we stopped the video when we did. Because that would definitely have to go on the outtakes. Or on OnlyFans if we ever set that up. She, there was just puke coming out everywhere. It was horrible. Oh, God. <laughs> she couldn't stop herself, the poor sod. So we had that going on. And then we had uh, me just dry. Oh, and then today, sorry, she's ridiculously bad. She's got dizziness and not very well at all. Due, I'm going to assume it's due to the noodles. I don't know. Maybe it's just a case of she's uh, absolutely buggered. But either way, she's not in a good way. So she's just having to lie down at the minute. I've got the afternoon off. So I said, look, I'll sort out the, um, the, the this bit. The talking over the top of the video. Now I wish I sped the video up a bit, guys, so we could maybe do this a bit quicker. But I can't speed up now because I've already started the audio. So we're going to go with what comes out. Anyways, how are we all doing? It is Monday. Hell yeah. I'm just having me a nice cup of coffee. Monday afternoon, the current time is, I don't know you now, what's the current time? Let's have a look, see, it's 13.35, so 25 to 2 in the afternoon, guys, and I've just had, Aim's in bed, you know, and, because she isn't very well, as I said, the, what happened was, though, now, I made some scrambled egg on toast, and I was like, oh, you know what I fancy right now, I really fancy some uh, Sasha and Bean melts from Greg's. And obviously I made it very well. And I thought, if I go and tell I'm that I'm getting going to Greg's, she's going to insist on Greg's, even though she ate well. And that's unfair on her, really, ain't it? To have to share my Greg's with her. So I kept a bit quiet about it. And I went and got me two sausage and bean melts. And then 
I went to bed and I sat down here and I enjoyed my sausage and bean melts. They were amazing. Anyone else love a good sausage and bean melt? It's just me, guys. So when I was a kid, I said when I was a kid, about 18, I used to finish work at, 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 what time to finish? I used to work 6 till 2, so 6 a.m. till 2 p.m. And I'd get home from work, I'd on my motorbike, drop my shit in, uh, oh, sorry for the language, and go straight to the t- up the town uh, where I lived back in the day. And in the town, we have, it's not the biggest town centre, but it's big enough. They had a Greg's, and they had this, and they had that, and they had a library. And I used to love a good kip. I was absolutely knackered. I mean, I was a young lad. I worked going to work till about three in the morning, get up about half five, going to work. I'd fall asleep at work, guys. I ain't joking. I'd be stood there, fast a kip, uh, whilst working in this factory. It was a nightmare. Everybody's going, Oi! Like, oh, what, what, what the hell, man? Don't shout at me. It my fault you got me standing up here doing this bloody job for the last, like, four hours. I need a kip, all right? Leave me be. So I'd have me a little nap. Anyways, on the job. <laughs> and then I'd finish it too. And I'd head to uh, into the town centre on my motorbike. I was only like a one, two, five, whatever. I'd go to town. Sometimes I'd fall asleep on the motorbike. I know it sounds stupid, but that's the truth. I used to fall asleep on my motorbike. When I'd get there, I'd go to Greg's. And uh, they had like, they started doing like an a seating area. They didn't do, used to have a seating area. But then eventually they brought one in. So I'd sit in there. I'd go, I'd go buy me a newspaper first. And I'd go and sit in Greg's. And I would have a um, two sausage and bean melt, bottle of Coke. And I was like, oh, this is amazing. It's so fucking tight. Oh, language again. Oh, my God. I need to edit all this out. I can't be like, oh, no. I'd, I'd have, I'd be like, oh, funkin' hell. Yeah, funkin'. Funkinpigeon.com. I do need to try and cut down the language, guys. I do apologise. I'd sit there and have my food. It'd be about three o'clock. Right now, okay, what should we do now? I know. Let's go to the library. Because anyone else fall asleep at the sound of sounds. You know, like ASMR. Okay, so I've got an ASMR channel. Some of you know of it, some of you don't. Some of you don't care, some of you might. But it's a bit of a, it's not doing great, it's doing all right, average. Anyways, I didn't know ASMR was a thing. I didn't know anything about ASMR when I was 18. All I knew was I used to like to go to my grand and granddad's and I'd sit there and just fall asleep whilst they were like, because they live... No, they didn't live in silence. It weren't like they were mutes. They didn't like not talk to each other. It was always very quiet in my grands and my granddads. So I'd go around there some afternoons. And like my grand would be doing a jigsaw. My granddad would be reading a book or flicking through the TV guide, planning what he was going to watch like in four weeks' time. He never watched anything that he, put, he looked ready about in the TV guide. My grand would never let him. She'd always say what went on the TV. I don't know why the hell he bothered to read it, really. Anyways. I used to fall asleep at my grand's all the time without even knowing that it was a thing, ASMR. So I used to go to the library after I went to Greg's. Oh, let me have a, a bit more of my coffee. I'd go to the library. I'd sit there. And you'd get all the, you'd get the Almas people in there. you get Pete, the old bloke, you know, sitting there in his raincoat, probably naked underneath. He kept putting his hands in his pockets a lot. I know that whenever I was there. You get the old little old ladies reading about flowers and ship. Oh, language, oh, bug. Flowers and ship. You know, we really do need to cut the language out. Christ on a bike. Um, you know, you, you'd get the ones who didn't, didn't actually know how to read, but they were there anyway, just looking at pictures. You'd get the ones on the computers trying to avoid, you know, hide the fact they're looking at porn. They're like, oh my God, look at that. There's a naked pigeon. And then like somebody walk past, they quickly click off the naked pigeon picture. But you get all the odd types, and then you get me. I'd sit there, I'd take my newspaper with me. I wouldn't read the, the library newspapers, I'd have my own newspaper. I'd sit there, I'd be flicking through the paper. And this thing, and I'd wake up like 10 minutes later, leaning on some bloke's shoulder, dribble coming out of his corner of my mouth, like, oh, 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 God, oh, my God, I'm so sorry, mate, I'm so sorry. He's like, no, it, 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 it's okay. It's okay, you can put your head on my shoulder. I don't mind. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not that kind of person. Not on a first date anyway, mate. Come on. Let me at least go for a coffee with you. At least take me to Costa or Starbucks. Buy me a little mocha choco waka locker locker, or whatever the other call them these days. I mean, why is it with coffees these days? I've mentioned this before, guys, on the video. Why can't we just get a coffee? Like, go in, can I get a coffee, please? Two sugars. When I go to Costa or Starbucks, I, I rarely go for this reason, guys. Like, one, 
is a rip-off. Two, you end up buying stuff you don't actually want. Three, you need to take out a mortgage because they sign you up to a sodding membership in Costa where they're like, here, have a cut stamp card. Every time you buy a very extra large coffee, we'll give you a stamp. Yeah, how many do I need to buy, mate, before I get a free coffee then? Well, we recommend buying about 200 extra large coffees. We then will give you some free sugar. Like, yeah, it's not a good deal, is it, mate? Because your extra large coffees are about four quid a go. I could easily go and buy myself a jar of coffee for three quid and have me about 50 coffees out of it, mate. So I don't do Costa or uh, Starbucks. And like I said, you end up buying stuff you don't want. So I went in one time with him. She fancied, um, she has cups of tea sometimes, which just fancied like a, a Oasis or something, like a bottle of Oasis. She sits down and says, oh, are you going to get me an Oasis? All right, I will do. And once I go to the counter, I'm, what do you want? Oh, I'll get an Oasis. Right, okay. And then she's looking out. Oh, what else they got? Um, well, they've got all these drinks. And they've got these cakes. got sandwiches. Okay. She said, get yourself a coffee. Like, I don't want a coffee. Eh? It's like five pound. Get yourself a coffee. All right, okay. I get to the counter. All right, mate. Can I get... Um, uh, I was looking at the bloody menu. It's like, why do I need to look at a menu for a coffee? I just want a coffee. And looking up, like, where's coffee? There's all these fancy names. Lattes and mockers and chockers and blockers and all this stuff. I'm like, just a co- Can I just get a coffee, mate? Yeah, what kind of coffee do you want, mate? Um, the hot kind. Comes in a cup normally. A bit of dash of milk, some sugar. Yeah, but do you want it like this type, that type, the Americano, Chococano, Chococano. I'm like, just a coffee, please, mate. Bit of milk in it, bit of sugar. I'm even happy to add my own sugar if I need to. Um, yeah, okay. And do you want that in the small, the medium, the large, the extra large, or the absolutely fucking huge cup? I'm like, well, mate, I'm, I'm an average sized person. I'm pretty sure I can handle a medium. He says, yeah, we recommend the large, really. Oh, I guess I'm getting a large then, mate. Give me a large, okay? How much is that, buddy? Bear in mind, I only want to spend a couple of quid. It's a coffee, not a sodding car. How much is that, mate? Uh, that'll be £4.50, please. I think something like that. Four. Whoa, 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 whoa. Does that come with 15 refills? What? Yeah, you're, you're, whoa. Let's just translate this here, mate. Have you got a translator somewhere back there? Have you? Is there like a... Somebody about to jump out on me and say this is like um, a prank. You know, you get on um, on Aston Kutcher used to do that program where he used to prank people. Uh, no, 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 sir. That is the actual price of the cup. Do I get the cup with it then, mate? That's cool. If you're going to give me the cup to keep, I'll pay £4.50. No, you just get the liquid inside it. Okay. So, I've come in here for a bottle of Oasis. It's now cost me £9.80. Because we bought a cake each as well. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you go out with your missus, ain't it, mate? Not normally, mate. Normally, if I'm spending £9.80, I'm getting a, a round of drinks in at the pub, a couple of packs of crisps, a bag of nuts, and maybe a sticky uh, cup holder thing. You know, a placemat. At least I get something for my money there. So you go there, and that's what I'd say to the bloke. I, I woke up in the library, I'm like, mate, I'm sorry, buddy, but I don't go that way on a first date. If you want to take me to the Costa or Starbucks and spend £9.80 on a cake and a coffee, I'm, a, I'm your man. I'll be yours for the rest of the afternoon. We can go back to the library, we'll pick up a good, you know, James Patterson book, maybe the new Dan Brown. We'll sit there, you can look at the pictures, I'll read the words, and after a while, I'll have a kip on your shoulder, and then we can go back and get another Costa coffee, and I'll go home and watch Home and Away. Because I was 18, bear in mind, guys, I was probably still watch Home and Away back then. Oh, look at that, me showing off my dinner. Yeah, guys, I do actually mean to need to tell you what was on our dinner. I've forgotten already, haven't I? To tell you, I should have told you at the beginning. So on this roast, we had Yorkshire puddings, which I'm, I'm at this dinner, by the way, guys. I made homemade Yorkshire puddings. They were freaking huge. We have carrots, green beans, uh, corn on the cobs, roast potatoes, roasters, baby. Um, uh, I think it was chicken. Yeah, we did chicken because I got a lot. I did um, like a really big chicken. So I got a lot of chicken off there. And I can't remember what else. There was, I probably had sweet corn as well as the corn on the cob. 
It was a lovely dinner, guys. Obviously topped up with gravy. It was an amazing dinner. I loved it. I was just gutted when it all went a bit pear-shaped at the end. I was not impressed. So, yeah, as a, as a kid, guys, going back to that, I used to go to sleep in the library. Not on purpose. I did not know what ASMR was. It turns out the sound of... Because I was absolutely knackered, bear in mind. I couldn't keep my eyes open for dust. What, what, what can of... What kind of phrase is that? I couldn't, I, or I couldn't see it for dust, or I couldn't keep my eyes open for dust. There are some weird phrases around, guys. I mean, maybe we should look into some of the weirdest. Let's have a little gander. Let's have a listen or a look at some weird phrases. So yeah, I'd fall asleep anyways. Is what I'm getting at. And I'd wake up, usually with my shoulder, my head on some bloke's shoulder. Sometimes being propped up by somebody else. Sometimes I'd been uh, robbed, like literally. They'd have took my newspaper, I'd look over, there's Gary. All right, Gary, what are you doing, mate? You're reading my newspaper. Why do you have my newspaper in front of you? He'd be like, uh, uh, no, 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 it's not yours. Mate, I know it is. Uh, how do you know it's yours then? Well, one, there's no library stamp on the front, therefore it was brought in from outside. Two... There's my crumbs from my sausage bean melt stuck to the front page. Not page three, guys. I weren't a dirty bugger. It was the front page or the back page for the sport. It's like, uh, no, uh, no, 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 because I just had a sausage bean melt. And mate, you didn't because you're not allowed food in the library. And if you did, then you're a bit of a tramp. What are you playing at? Have some respect for the library and people who have to read that paper after you, you bloody filthy git. Right, F uh, funny sayings. We're going to type this in, guys, and see what comes up. Uh, uh, in UK. It come up with in French and Spanish cross. I can't speak French and Spanish, so I'm not going to know what any funny what they mean, really, am I? And I'll probably butcher the language or the accents. So, you guys, I do apologise, like I said, for my bad language. I do let it slip out sometimes. Um, I wasn't brought up to swear, though my dad does swear like a trooper. So, in my, I wouldn't swear at home. Like, literally, in front of my mum, I've swore maybe seven and a half times. And that half was only when I, I managed to catch myself at the last second. I don't really swear in front of my parents. And even though my dad swears like a trooper, I still feel awkward when I do it in front of him. So, when I was a kid... I ain't joking, like, my dad's a big bloke, like, a lot bigger than me. Um, he always has been all my life. Anyway, I didn't really think, know anything of it as a kid, but one day, he hurt me. We was messing around, I don't know what he was doing, I used to toy fight, play fight all the time. And I'd get angry, I'm like, let me go on top, let me beat you for once, Dad. Dad, just sit down, let me hurt you. And he would do, to be fair to him. But one day, he hurt me, and I couldn't stop myself, I was like eight or nine, I don't know why I said this. I must have heard it in school. But I said, Are ah, you fat? T-W-A-T. Before, I didn't even know what the word meant. That's how bad it was. I didn't know it was like a really terrible word to say or to call your dad. So when I called my dad it, and he turned around and smacked me in the head with a back, like clipped me around the back of the head. I was like, what the hell are you doing that for? What, what's the need? He said, like, you never talk to me like that again. By this time, guys, in this video, Aim has clearly had enough. 18 minutes in, you can see she's just stalling for time, hoping that I will finish my tray really quickly, and then she won't have to eat any more. I can guarantee in the next 10 minutes, she won't eat any more food off that tray. Guaranteed. Anyways. So, yeah, uh, funny sayings. But back to my language thing, I try and stop myself, I do. So if anyone's ever offended by the fact that I swear, don't be offended. And just move on with life. Life is too short to be upset about things. So a very funny saying is a few sandwiches short of a picnic. That's what this is on the Independent newspaper website. Wow, I'm intelligent. I'm looking at the Independent website, and there's no mucky pictures on this newspaper. I must be doing well. So a few sandwiches short of a picnic. Now they usually say that about somebody who's not all there in the head, like if. Someone's a bit, you know, maybe like, um, I don't know what the tip, the political correct words are, but you know what I'm saying. If someone's not as clever as other people, maybe they might say, he's a few sandwiches short of a picnic. Now, as a kid, I would never say that. I just used to say, look, he's a bit, bit, you know, 
slower than the rest of us. And as a kid, you think that's politically correct because you don't know any better. But as you get older, you realise you're not allowed to say that. And the political correct thing to then say is, he's a few sandwiches short of a picnic. But then your mate who's obviously not up on the uptake, he's like, what, there's a picnic? Oh, where? Did I miss out on a picnic? Like, no, mate, don't worry about it. Go out to sleep. Other funny sayings and... Oh, these are just boring. These are just like single words. Here we go. Best funny British sayings. Let's see what we've got on here. Oh, we ain't got anything. This is sodding Pinterest. What a lot of waffle. Uh, 50... This will be it. We'll get some good off this one, I swear down. And if we don't, then we're stuck. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, this is just crap. I think I said anything, you know, because this is, this is no good. We're not going to find anything decent. I did not come on here with anything planned to say to you guys, so I'm just making this shit up as we go. Like, oh, no, there goes another um, another f- f- footy. Another footy. I read footy on the screen. There goes another swear word. My bad. Okay, here's some fa- phrases that English people say that Americans don't understand. I've just found this on a website. Okay, here we go. How's your father? <laughs> so if you're in America, and like if I went to America tomorrow and I was single, like me and the missus split up, and I was over there, and I seen some tidy looking lady, I'm like, oh, I don't know, why not? Go and try it on. One, she probably wouldn't understand my, my accent to start with. I mean, Christ, I don't understand my accent sometimes. But she need my accent. I mean, we get it sometimes on here, guys, on the comments, we get some Americans and they'll come on and say, I don't understand what you're saying there, lady. Well, that's if they're Scottish, I guess. But they do it in an American accent. I can't do American accents. And they're like, I didn't understand a fucking word you said, my lady. So, yep, still Scottish. Anyways, if you can imagine an American accent, they say something like that. And I think I just swore again. Oh, God. All right, anyways. So some of the sayings that we got is, How's your father? Now, if you go to a lady in America and say, how's your father, love? She might be like, my, my dad? Oh, yeah, my dad's okay. What, what do you know him? How do you know him? Have you been in the country long? I thought you just got off the plane. Now, love, it actually means, like, you know, let me put it a different way. Do you fancy a bit of rumpy pumpy? Uh, well, what, what, is that like a, a, an English meal? She might ask me, is that like a English breakfast? A bit of rumpy pumpy? Uh, no, I uh, love like. Do you do you fancy a good Rogering? Oh Roger! Oh, I love Roger Bannister. He's a very famous English sportsman, isn't he? Well, yeah, Roger Bannister was love, but I'm saying a good Rogering. You know, like how's your father? Bit of rumpy pumpy. You know, good scene too. Um, I don't understand you, son. I don't understand what you're saying. So yeah, English phrases aren't always easy to interpret in America. They don't always get what you're saying. Um, this one here as well. I'll give you a bunch of fives. I mean, to be fair, I've had a couple of fights in my life. When I was younger, not in the last like, 10 years. I'm a grown adult now. I don't fight. But at no point when I was a uh, younger little nipper snapper, did I ever say to anyone I was about to have a fight with, if you don't behave yourself, I'll give you a bunch of fives. Nope, I've never said that in my life. I've heard the phrase, but never heard it. Okay. Um, that's pants. That's another phrase for, it's not great, not very good. Yeah, when I met AIM, so she said to me one day, I used to call my trousers, like my school trousers, I'd call them pants. So it's like school pants. That's what I used to call them from where I'm from, up north in uh, Lancashire. Lancashire. I'd say, well, Mum, where's my school pants? Or, Mum, i got a hole in my school pants. And she's like, Lee, you little sh... And he'll swore again. How dare you get another hole in your school tra- or school pants? Mum, I can't help it. I fell over. I was playing races and playing army. Meh. Army. That's my attempt at a uh, machine gun, obviously. Uh, so, I'd say pants, school pants. And when I met him, she's like, I was like, oh, uh, pass me my pants, I think I said to her. She said, what do you mean? I said, well, they're there on the like, on the chair, past me. I've got to get dressed. Uh, Lee, those are trousers or jogging bottoms or jeans. These are pants. And then she held up a pair of knickers. And I'm like, hey, that's knickers, not pants. What the hell are you on about? But it turns out people in the West Midlands and other parts of the country call pants, or underwear, ladies' underwear, pants. 
So when you say that's pants, it's basically saying that the lady you're with is wearing really crappy pants. What else we got here? Uh, she was talking 19 to dozen, meaning she was talking really bloody fast. Aim does that sometimes when she's angry when she's like, talk 19 to dozen. But what the hell does it even mean? 19 to dozen? Well, actually, it's to the dozen. I just say to dozen because uh, I'm from up north and we all speak a bit odd up there sometimes. I can say that because I'm originally from there. I'm a northern lad originally. So, yeah, talking 19 to dozen. It just it does ask, what is it? Where's the logic? How do you get from a dozen to 19? Where are oh, number 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18? Or it's all gone pear shaped, meaning it's all gone wrong. But where's the origins of that? I don't know. I can't be asked to look. Why would. So basically, anything that goes wrong is it the shape of a pear. That tells me a farmer one day was trying to grow himself a nice, perfectly round apple. Ended up growing a pear by mistake, by mistake, by mistake. It came out a funny shape. And he was like, yeah, that's not an apple. That's a pear. It's all gone pear shaped. Or maybe he grew an apple and it came out in the shape of a pear. It's like, oh, for fuck's sake, for sick, man. It's come out all pear shaped. And then he's about, it's like, yeah, it's all gone a bit wrong, really, hasn't it? Uh, going for a slash. Okay, yeah, obviously we all know what going for a slash means. That is basically going for a P. Why we call it a slash, I don't know. Because when you think of a slash, like somebody gets slashed with a knife, you don't do that with P, do you? you do it with a knife. So going for a slash, I'm not sure what the origins are, but it means, if you're American, what that means, if your mate ever meets you and you is English, and he said, oh, I'm just going for a slash, you now know. He's going for a P. A Jimmy Riddle. Or is another phrase for it. Um, spend a penny. I don't even know what that one means. I've never spent a penny when I go for a P. I normally lose a couple of quid down the toilet. Falls out of my back pocket. I'm like, oh, balls. I've spent two quid. And I was like, what do you mean? You know what I mean. When you spend a penny, I spent two quid this time. So there's a few funny phrases that if you're American, you may not know when an English person says them to you. But that's that anyways. Hopefully it aims all right here, guys. I've not heard a banging on the ceiling, so I'm assuming. And she's not rang our text. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Ain gets dead impressed now on the video. She was really impressed because I'm about to eat a bit of cabbage. Wait for it. Look at that. She's eating some cabbage. She's like, oh, my God. Oh, whoa, whoa. Lee's eating some cabbage. Has Aim actually eaten any more food since I said that was her done? <laughs> I bet she hasn't, you know. I've not been looking at the screen. I've just been chatting away, guys. Looking at me phone. But I swear down, she will not, there's me saying, right, it's time to wrap this up because I'm is full. But then after this, we had about a 15 minute rant about our dogs and about um, how much we love our dogs because somebody said, you two clearly don't care about your dog locking him up in a cage or her up in a cage. So like, what the fuck are you on about your tool? I tell her, oh, she's still eating a little bit. No, she's just having a nibble. she put all that away for later on. So I think that... Most that went to the dogs in the end, that dinner. Anyways, so some tool, because we did our vlogs for um, blum, 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 for our holiday and stuff. And obviously our Elsie, our friendship, was very unwell before we went to Wales. So it was really unwell, to the point where she couldn't walk and stuff. And the vets told us, keep her in a crate as much as you can. Let her rest. So some tool come on, yeah, I bet your dog has a miserable effing life. You never walk your dog, kept in a crate all the time. It's like, whoa, the vets told us to keep the dog in the crate for about three weeks as much as we can. So she don't run around like an idiot, like you are, you useless, mindless moron. And I didn't know about this until I tell her in about five minutes time. I've cut it off the end of the video because we don't do any food eating. It was just me and I on a mad rant about our dog's and how much we love them and look after them. And now there's just some really stupid people out there who just love to spread negativity. Like yesterday, we got a couple of negative comments on the channel. Now, before, I'd react to them. We'd even go out of our way to a full video on like the negativity and shit like that. Now, I just report them to YouTube for harassment, and I block that ass. Because they think, oh, uh, if we put this on there about uh, being overweight or about him being like a northern idiot, then we're going to get a reaction. 
No, you won't. Not from now on, you won't, guys. You're not going to get no reaction. Over then, you'll find your channel gets blocked. And you're going to have to go and set up a new one. And I'll get that one blocked as well. So I'll end up on the last half. Me and I'm all will. Because there'll be no more negativity on this channel. We hit over 2K, guys, about two weeks ago. We're now at 2,100. And the plan is to keep it going. We've done this in eight months, guys, remember. We started this channel in end of February. Started doing the mukbangs end of February. We're not even in the end of October yet. It's been eight months. Fantastic. We love it. Oh, yep, yeah, could be. A bit more Yorkshire pudding. I was stuffed at this point, guys. We had peas as well. I forgot about that. Not sweet corn. Yeah, look at me showing off my lovely Yorkshire puddings. I even did Yorkshire puddings on... I tried... <laughs> You see it then, guys? I was literally trying to nick Ames Yorkshire pudding. I looked over and I was like, mm, hang on, she's got a spare Yorkie there. I was enjoying mine. I was like, I'll just reach over and see if she texts me taking hers while she's on a bit of a chat. She might not notice. And I thought, it's risky. There's a good chance she's going to see me doing this. And she did. And told me, I said, oh, you leave that for me. That's my Yorkshire pudding. I'm going to have that afterwards. And then I end up apologising. But we're wrapping this up now, guys. This video is just about done. I hope you've enjoyed my, um, uh, what do they call it? Over, voiceover. That's the words I was looking for. I didn't have any plans on what I was going to talk about. So hopefully it's not been too uh, mind-numbingly boring with just me on here. You'll probably all come on and say, Godly, that was awful. We miss AIM. She's the star of the show. She's the one we want on the show. Stay away, Lee. Never do this again, Lee. Well, hopefully I'll never have to, because hopefully the videos will work out. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, comment below, and see you all again very soon.